not only is the world moving towards a state of transcendent understanding of invisible realities, but when the principles of science began to unveil themselves, when the laws of nature began to be able to, when the laws of nature began to excite in man a need to discover the underlying basic foundations of those laws, we look back through European history and we see all of a sudden these societies of esoteric students of Kabbalah, students of underlying realities, students of the mysteries, and out of them emerged the society of alchemists. These alchemists uh, had to conceal their studies because they were now moving into uh, the hidden dimensions of reality and they were taking precepts and turning them into sort of scientific realities. They were searching for the power to transmute one element to another. And they were using esoteric precepts from the scriptures. They were looking for this, um, in Job it says there is a place where gold is refined and, and um, where gold is created in reality out of the coarse matter of life itself. And so the original alchemists, some driven by um, the fact that they understood that these were um, spiritual concepts. Others were saying, yes, but a spiritual concept may have its effects in the material realm. So maybe we can use the spiritual concepts to actually transmute and find the ways to, to kind of sort of enter into the process of creation ourselves. And so they were looking for all these magic formulas and of course uh, the, um, the, uh, the central um, object of their search was for the Philosopher's Stone. And this Philosopher's Stone may be an abstract concept or it may be some actual material thing that if they could just use some of the uh, dustings off of this magic stone wherever it would find, they would find the necessary chemical elixir to literally transmute, transmute um, basement matter into precious metals. And as a result of their failings, which caused many individuals to say, no, what we've been doing is fooling around in a science that has no application in the material realm. But these mysteries that we have pursuing really have to do with the transmutation of the base nature of man into the gold and the precious metals of divine consciousness. And so many of the alchemists left off with their tinkering in science and uh, began to uh, merge themselves into secret esoteric religious societies. Well, but what happened in that process is that the very science of physics was born. Not that it, the principles of physics did not proceed from Pythagorean times and all those things, but now as time was now speeding up and things were intensifying, the very mysteries that were necessary for the eventual creation of uh, the atomic bomb. The foundation of those uh, understandings were, uh, we, we lay at the doorsteps of the alchemists in the Middle Ages. And so now we see what God did. Through the study of scriptures, God set two processes in motion. The process that would lead to the actual transformation of human consciousness and the one that would lead to the very terrible conditions that we see ourselves in and that is with the powers of destruction in the hands of humankind. And so what we have here now is through the mysteries of creation. See, we, 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 they tap into the mystery of creation itself and they broke what God said should not be broken up. Only through the hardness of our heart have we broken that which God has put together. And, um, and now we have in the world the means to, uh, now God has in the world the means to cleanse the earth of all this transgression and to deliver out of the earth or out of this age 
which is about to be cleansed by fire one way or another, either the fire of divine love and understanding and wisdom or the fire of physical destruction of this age. But in any event, God is getting ready now to create a new age which has an understanding of these powers and these forces. But it took all of these centuries for these ideas to come to their perfection so that God could reach out of the Eastern world where all his armies are stationed and bring that judgment technologically across the ocean to the Western world where both the evil and the good are coming to perfection.